hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are older thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop so without any further ado let's get started normally i'm going to use a5 paper size in this tutorial and the resolution is 300 so now let's get started i'm going to import the resource file i'm going to use so the first one is this image and scale it out then go to filter select blur gaussian blur then make it 18.0 ratio then you click ok to apply it then the next one then we are going to create a gradient field then over here you select your gradient field and this is white then i'm going to click ok to apply it then this is the outcome of it and the next one then create a new layer and this layer now i'm going to select my brush over here then increase the brush size like this it's okay then i will change my color here to orange color like this then come over here to apply it to apply it all right this way is okay then i'm going to return back the color to white the, the first thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to change the blending mode to add lights all right okay so having done that so then we are going to our resource file again and i'm going to import this one then you scale it out a little bit something like this okay then we are going to change the bloody mode to soft light then apply your layer masks and select your gradient to then g that is the control key the control key is g then we are going to blend the bottom here and the top here something like this so having done this one the next we are going to do now we are going to import this image over here then increase the size and drag it up then we are going to change the blending mode to overlay and reduce the opacity to around 44 percent then apply your layer mask and select your gradient to or press g using your keyboard and we are going to blend over here all right so we are done with this one so the next we are going to do now we are going to apply our test and the church logo then import the church logo and reduce the size then drag it up now select your rent angle tool and create a line like this then leave it white color now i'm going back to my test document now and then to copy the church name control plus it to copy then select your test to or using t that is a shortcut then control plus v to paste and we are going to change the font to railway and we are going to change the boldness so over here we are going to use medium then change the font color to black now we are going to reduce the font size then now we also reduce the church logo a little so it's okay like this so what you are going to do now hold your shift key 
then you select it all then control plus g to group now go to select then select all then apply vertical alignment to centralize it now go back to select then deselect all right then we are going to select this one control plus j to duplicate now we are going to bring this one over here then select your test tool and we are going to make a copy of this one control plus c to copy then come over here then go to select or you can use your shortcut key control plus a to select all then control plus v to paste so having selected our test make sure that this one is also select then the next we are going to do now then we are going to bring this test to i'm going to bring it over here now i'm going to increase the character spacing by 400 percent then click ok to apply it to something like this all right so having done this one then we are going to then centralize it then you can go to select select all then apply your vertical alignment over here then control plus d to deselect that is the shortcut so this is the outcome of it so we have to continue all right now i'm going to reduce the size something like this then control plus zero to fit it to page okay so okay like this then i will use my arrow key then to take it up then use your arrow key to bring it down so i'm using the arrow key to bring it down all right so okay like this then i will also like to increase the font size a little so i'm going to zoom it a little something like this it's okay so now then the next we are going to do then we are going to make a copy of this test here select this one then control plus c to copy now we are going to select our test tool then control plus v to paste then click ok to apply then now we are going to remove the character spacing by zero percent then we are going to change the font to autograph now we are going to increase the font size like this then centralize it okay then go back to your test to select it and we are going to our test document to copy this one control plus c to copy so over here now we are going to make use of test effects so and this is the effect i'm going to use in this tutorial so we'll come over here to double click to open this smart subject then we are going to select this one then control plus a to select all then control plus v to paste your test and here now we are going to reduce the character spacing then we are going to use minus 40 percent so okay like this then we are going to reduce the size something like this okay two then we have to close this one now and save it in order to reflect at the other side so what i'm going to do now then i don't need to see this background and the test here and the and the green you are seeing over here so then what you are going to do now in order to remove this then turn off the background to remove the background and we are going to turn off this fx 3d over here okay so what remain now is the test okay so and this is the title here so we are going to remove the test so the test has been removed already okay so what i want now is this one so this is what i want so i'm going to use this one now so if there is anything you don't want here so then you can go through all this one then and remove them so I need this starlight you are seeing here, so I need them. 
altitude and this starlight here is this one here so this is the starlight all right so i need it and i need the shadow okay and the test here is the main test you are seeing here so having done this one so the next thing i'm going to export it so and this is where you export it then you can export it as png over here then you click to export it so and select where you want to export it to all right so i'm done i don't need to export it because i have done that and i have it as you can see so then let's go back to our tutorial and i'm going to import this one right now and i will drag it over here i will drag it then to position it over here i think here is okay all right so and i'm going to increase the size a little bit like this all right then this festival of praise here and i'm going to remove it from this group all right so it will be on its own and i'm going to select it right now and i'm going to rotate it so i will rotate it then drag it up here then rotate it again so i need it to be balanced then i will increase the size then bring it down so now i'm going to use my arrow key then to adjust it so this way is okay now hold your shift key while you select it and i'm going to bring it down this way it's okay then you click ok to apply it all right so having done this one so the next i'm going to do now then i'm going to bring the images and over here these are the images i use in this tutorial i have already arranged it here and i'm going to move it one by one so then i'm not going to move the arrangement all like this so i want to do it the way i did it so that you all will understand it okay so what i will do now then i'm going to import this one drag it over here then i will bring it down to this position yes okay all right then go back and i'm going to bring this one then drag it behind and i will reduce the size then something like this so before i forgot come back to this test then i'm going to copy this one Control plus c to copy then i'm going to select my test tool then Control plus v to paste and change the font to railway then make the boldness semi bold right now we are going to increase the size something like this now take it up over here and we are going to rotate it increase the size all right so it's okay like this now we can now group it together hold your shift key as you select it then ctrl plus g to group so this is our test now so we are done with that one so let's go back to our the images now all right so having done this one the next one then go back to your to your images and we are going to import this one or we drag it something like this okay then the next one then go back again and we are going to import or we will drag this one then this one will go below 
okay something like this then you can use your arrow key then to move it then let's go back and drag this one and this one will also go behind All right so now i'm going to hold my shift key then and drag this to to come up All right so this way then hold your shift key then i'm going to select it all and reduce it a little so having done that one now then i'm going back to this place and now here i'm going to select this one and drag it so let it come below them all and i'm going to reduce it then use your arrow key then to arrange it okay so having done this way so i'm going to select it all hold your shift key to select it all and adjust it by bringing it down this way then i'm going to reduce it like this all right it's okay like this so use your arrow key then to arrange it properly so you can see how it is here so that is the way then we select it to be here so now i'm going to select this one hold your shift key then increase this one a little all right so now the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to select it hold your shift key select it all now we can group it or convert it to smart object now select smart object to convert it to smart object now apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and we are going to blend it over here like this so having blended it then we can also now increase the size so now we are going to copy the names then come back to your test document to make a copy of this name over here so select this one while you copy it ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste and we are using the font railway and the bonus is medium okay now we are going to reduce the font size like this is okay then i'm going to duplicate it you can drag it down over here to make a duplicate or you use ctrl plus j to duplicate it that is the shortcut key then now we take this one then position it over here then select your test tool then make a copy of this one ctrl plus a to highlight it then ctrl plus b to paste
So we are done with the names now. Now hold your shift key, then to select all the names, then use your arrow key, then to move it up. All right, so click like this. Then the next, I'm going to select a rent angle. Then draw a rent angle over here. Then I will change the color to red. Then I'm going to draw another rent angle inside here. Then change the color to this yellow over here. Then and I'm going to apply a shape to it. This is too much. All right, six percent is okay. Then I will go to my resource file and import this calendar icon. Then reduce the size. All right, so having done this one, so what I'm going to do now, then I'm going to select, select the dates. Then select your test tool. Control plus V to paste. And I'm going to change the font. Then use the font impact to all the fonts I'm using here. You can see them. So they are right here. So you can download them and make use of it. Now we are going to increase the size. Then I'm going to copy this one. Control plus C to copy. Then, and I'm going to make a duplicate from this names here. Control plus J to duplicate. Then you drag it up over here. Now I'm going to move it down to this position. Select your test tool. Then select the test, highlight it, Ctrl plus A to highlight. Okay, we have copied this one already. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now reduce the size. Then go to your test document to copy this one. Then now I'm going to make a duplicate of this one. Control plus J to duplicate. Then select your test tool. Highlight it. Then Control plus V to paste. Then we are going to reduce the font size. and drag it over here. So right. So the next I'm going to draw a rectangle line this way. Then change the color. Then using this yellow color here. Then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hold my shift key. So hold your shift key. Then while you select this ones, then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Now drag it above this one. Then we are going to move it from here. 
then down to this position okay now select your test tool i like this one and change the number to eight okay so the next we are going to to draw a rent angle like this and we are going to make use of this color right then we are going to duplicate this one Control plus J to duplicate and we will drag it to the top then hold your shift key while you drag it then we are going to select our date here so first I'm going to copy that six then I'm going to bring my time icon then drag it to reduce the size and I'm going to position it inside here okay so all I need to do is to duplicate this six here control plus j to duplicate then drag it up above now hold your shift key then while you bring this one over here then and this one I'm going to duplicate it drag it above to the top then hold your shift key while you move it over here select your test tool then ctrl plus a to alight it then make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste now go back to your test document then make a copy of this one ctrl plus j to make a duplicate for this then i'll position it over here select your test tool now ctrl plus a to alight it ctrl plus v to paste then make a change to the font color so change the font color to white then reduce the font size then you position it here now align it together it's okay now i'm going to reduce the size of this one hold your shift key while you reduce it this way so now hold your shift key while you select it all then ctrl plus g to group it now you can increase the size something like this so the last thing i'm going to make a copy of this one then drag it up here and i'm going to bring it down around the end then go back to your resource file import this location icon then reduce the size okay then hold your shift key while you reduce it then go back to your documents make a copy of this one then select your test tool and we are going to change the font here to railway now ctrl plus v to paste 
Then we are going to change the boldness to semi bold. And the font color, we are going to change it to black. Now reduce the font size. All right, so we are going to select it all, then click here to group it. Now go to select, select all, and apply center alignment to centralize it. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. So the last thing we are going to do now, go back to your resource file and import this light flare. Then change it to screen. Now we are going to rotate it like this. Then the other one, we are going to import this one. Then position it around here. Then change the blending mode to screen. Then duplicate is Ctrl plus J to duplicate. And we are going to bring this one around here. Something like this. So we are done with this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Do not forget to share and like. Thank you so much for following. And if you need any of my flyer, you can go to my Fiverr account. The link is in the description. And Place your order. Thank you so much for following. I really appreciate it.